Welcome back, round two of Castlevania Symphony of the Night! Grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We're fucking playing more Castlevania of the Grilled Cheese Sandwich. How's it going, baby girl? It is I, Mr. Kicking It! Hey, babies. And this is Javier. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> How's it going? You're going just fucking uh, fetal failures. Major dramatic entrance for yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, so I want to make this clear. I had the most awkward time saying uh, your brother's name, which is Checo. Chalks. Yeah, and for some reason, you two tend to pronounce your name in like the whitest versions I could believe uh, possible in existence. What? Yeah, like you were like Jarvis, even though uh -huh. that's the name I gave you. That's your internet internet sage name, Mr. Jarvis. But fuck you. Oh, Salem sorry. Witch. I uh, hate those chicks. The Salem fine. witches. It's fine. It's fine. There you um, go. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm just gonna call you Javier like I usually do and Okay, that's Checo, fine. hear me out Your name is Checo That's what your mom and dad gave you And that's what you're gonna be That, well, <laughs> see, actually The the name that was given by my parents to Uh, s s Mr. Fucking Just say Checo is, Just say yeah, Checo See, that's the nickname for, like, you know well, how Sergio. For William, it's Bill or Billy or whatever What? Yeah, bro. Calmada, no. Yes, indeed. No, I don't believe you. I believe that my name Enrique is English for Henry. It's Spanish, you fucking dumb fuck. Sorry, I'm getting those sayings mixed. <laughs> oh, you fucking hip. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, man. I. When did I get that diamond? I, you, you need to oh. stop your sass right now, those mister. Diamond, those diamonds are pretty fucking... They're completely useless. But they look so cool, though. They leave lines and stuff. But see, they're they, like a light show that you would want at a tool show. Yes, I got uh, the demon card. What does demon card do? Uh, it gives me that little fucker. And oh, so every new enemy that comes in, no, it, but see, it, the, you record it or what? No, a familiar uh, oh. means that. Yeah, I get an. Uh, hold on, I want to hear his voice. I love him. Yeah. Will do, baby girl. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, dude. so now you have familiars and shit. Yeah, he, he usually they're like little um, um, creatures that help out in the quest. Oh God! There you go. Nice checkered shield. Yeah, it's the knight shield. It's it's actually pretty bad. It it does that like when when in, it protects you. Oh, yes, I got the fire mail. Okay. Finally, so fire attacks will uh, cure me. That's badass. Is there any gauntlets in this game? Uh, define a gauntlet. Uh, you know the shit that you put on and getting ready to blood your people in the face with? Yes. Uh, like, is it an actual weapon that Alucard gets to use? Yeah. It's, uh, oh, well, um, you get a later point in the game, but uh, it... It's actually not that good. I, I actually prefer uh, longer range uh, weapons. Okay, so here's another tele uh, transportation portal, but I don't need it. I don't think I need it right now. I okay. want to keep exploring the abandoned mines. Of okay. Uh, so I, I actually had something interesting to talk about that I left off in the last episode, but I just want to uh, catch How do you up. remember? <laughs> <laughs> that was like weeks ago and shit. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, anyways, but before I go ahead and talk about that, I, I wanted to. Um, <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Nice, nice dodge. Oh space, god, bro. no! Fuck. Uh, what, what do you have to do? Like, do you remember where you have to go? Because I mean, it's been a while, and we're picking the up the game tank. for a second se uh, second session. Sorry. Um, I mean, that's the thing with with uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's a Metroidvania game, so like, it doesn't really matter where I go. Of course, it doesn't matter, and everyone knows this. But I want to like, what do you have in your head? Like, oh, okay, uh, this is where I'm gonna go now. Like, what's your plan? What's your route? What is uh, the route Javier Garcia is going to take? Uh, right now, I'm hitting up this place, which is uh, the catacombs are so fucking cool. Oh, I love so this we place. haven't been here for a while. Hey, look, no. you got the axe. We actually, we've never been here before. Okay, yeah, so this is all fucking new. Hey, look, indeed. save point. Um, all right, so we know what we're doing. We're in the catacombs. We're here already, and we're going to explore the fuck out of it. Indeed. But anyways, on the last episode, I believe, or maybe two episodes ago or something, I was talking about... Uh, this game called uh, The White Room. 
which oh, is yeah. uh, which I thought in the beginning it was a uh, game developed by uh, Checo, uh, Javi's twin brother. Mm. Um, but as a matter of fact, it's not. Like I guess he just found it and he wanted to implement it to his family. AKA Correct. me, him, and Jerry are the only ones that have been uh, doing it. I think he asked Luis too, but Luis never responds. But I'm very Correct. interested to see the way he does it because he's fucking. He's, yeah, he's very creative. Yeah, he's very. Uh, Brainiac ish. God dang it. Um, what, what's up? Mm, big HP restored by cat damage. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, just um, for now. Okay. Yeah, so the way the white room works is you're in a white. It, it's kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons type of thing. You have, like, uh, I guess a game master. You're LARPing, or, basically. Not yeah. Like an RPG. It, it's like a, a mini RPG, but yeah. like with imagination, and you could even do it over the phone, texting yeah. texting a friend. That's actually how he did it to me. Yeah, that's how he did it to us. Uh, it's uh, like a. Uh, fuck, fuck. So you have like a narrator or dungeon master or whatever the fuck, right? So he gives us this option. Okay, you are in a white room and you're locked in. So I'll go chronologically since Javier was the first one to go. Fuck you. Javier actually. Uh, me and Javier both died, but this is how we died. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Jeko actually told me that you were the first one. No, you were the first yeah, one. No, no you were. You were. I was. I was actually uh, in the game. Um, or I was, was this at the same time, probably, because you probably, were part of. Yeah, you were I part sacked of your corpse. Oh, technically. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. But that's weird, because in in my version there is a window, and I in saw you choking too. on a dill, dill pickle. On a dill pickle? Yeah, or any pickle. I mean, you okay, were choking yeah. on a fucking pickle. Yes. Like you should always do. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I constantly do. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I, it's I don't. It's like a I don't, fucking <laughs> thing to do for me. I don't remember how you. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Yes, no, but I don't. I don't remember how you died. Care to ex explain how your shit went down? Like how your story happened? Um, I think what happened was I. Uh, like, I kept farting and farting and farting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. So, you, and, you suffocated. Like, yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, it, go, like, explain to the viewer. Oh, shit. I forgot about this guy. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Well, what ended up happening is uh, ha Javi here ended up farting over and over. And since there was no ventilation... Oh, and, God, no. God damn it. And apparently there was a window, but I don't know if he opened it or not. And I'm assuming he didn't because he died from suffocating on his own fucking fart. Uh, and, and on the fucking uh, gas that was, was being emitted through one of the ventilators in the room, okay. allegedly. So that's that's what happened to him. I what ended up happening in my guys. story is I was placed in the white room. And the first thing I was given is a window. And across from me was another white room where I was watching Javier choke on a dill pickle <laughs> and then uh Checo told me there is a table in your white room and there is a jar of dill pickles what do you do and i was like um what did i say oh yeah i was like okay i don't do anything um bye and what did i end up doing i think i said i smashed the window open and i get out and Checo's like fuck you you can't do that you don't have anything to smash it with i'm like yes i do my own fist and he's like well Poor you, you just broke your hand because that's plexiglass. So plexiglass. Plexi yeah. glass, sorry. So I'm I have a broken hand and I don't know what to do. So I was running out of time and then Checo was like, you know what, I'm gonna finish you off. Gas started pouring in. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, that's not fucking fair. I held my breath. And he's like, Congratulations, you die from suffocating out of yeah. your own stupidity. Yeah. I'm like, that's not cool. And he's like, no. Well, you're dead. Yeah. So whatever, right? Uh, Jerry, as a matter of fact, he actually lived. Yeah. And what ended up happening is he saw Javier choke on a dill pickle. He, uh, and I don't know if he saw me choking on gas. Um, but he's fucking damn it. <laughs> what fucking Jerry ended up answering was I checked my inventory, I saw a key, and there was a door. And I unlocked it and I left. So Jerry beat the game. Yeah. He beat the white room, but I, yeah. I, no, I, I don't know if anybody else was able to do it. It's such an interesting concept. Like I, I, I loved his idea of the game. Yeah, and I mean, for anybody that's uh, viewing this episode right now, listening, go ahead and like text your friend right now and just yeah. set up a fucking objective for him, yeah. some obstacles or whatever. Like it's a really fun game, and. Wow, we actually took up most of the time of the episode talking about the Shut fight. Your mouth. That was it? Well, I mean, we still have like about a minute or so, but... That's insane! I mean, yeah, dude, dude, time flies when you're having a killer-ass time talking about white rooms 
Although I prefer my room to be red. This is um not by blood. I just got the walk armor and the walk armor is fucking amazing. What do you um, do with walk armor? With walk armor, the more um the like the uh, more complete oh. your map is, the stronger your defense becomes. So I think it's kind of OP, yet at the same time it's it's just so cool. So you should probably See, like uh, right now I, I I was being dealt a bunch of damage and now it's like uh, doable, like it's one damage or or, or, or something. That's pretty fucking okay. legit. Anyway, yeah. So while <laughs> while Javier is getting his butt kicked, even though he has a uh, legitimate walk armor. God uh, fucking damn it! I hate fire. All right, so there goes his uh, sayonara from all of you. But I'm just gonna say goodbye, you lovely motherfuckers. Ah!